to be here this morning and um, we have three students that we have a drama that's called Reality is it's kind of like a shorter version of three testimonies all kind of wrapped up in one um, so you'll hear three testimonies and then like he said we have another drama to a song where um, all of our students um, will come up and share bits and pieces of their testimonies as well um, for those of you that are not familiar with Teen Challenge the 12 month faith based rehabilitation program um, ours particular is an adult facility so we do 18 and older um, we do have have adolescent centers that are for teenage age students um, other places in our region um, we have uh, like I said it's a faith-based program um, they go through some type of we will it's not really school but it's school work based on the Bible um, learning how to build foundations in Jesus Christ um, learning how to go from the lifestyle of sin um, and changing into the lifestyle of Jesus because we wholeheartedly believe that the only way to find true freedom from addiction is through Jesus Christ himself and no other way amen um, our program we do we have um, our facility can hold um, 15 women our men's facility can hold up to 40 men um, both at which are at full capacity right now and like I said you know we have you know these women that come in here that are so broken and I'm um, so destroyed by the world um, whether it's been through issues they've had growing up issues as into adulthood um, students that um, have a bad taste in their mouths about Christianity when they first come in um, which is a very common thing that we do unfortunately get with a lot of our students um, because living the lifestyle that we have we're not always those first people on people's lists to want to help as sad as that may be um, but we offer a place where these women and men can come and put those broken pieces back together with God's help I myself and every person that I work with we are all graduates of Teen Challenge um, not necessarily from this facility but different facilities across this country there are 201 centers in the United States and there's 98 countries including non-Christian countries that have Teen Challenges in there areas as well it is a very growing ministry that all started with one man's not necessarily his dream because he didn't really know what the Lord was calling him when he went to New York City back in 1958 um, pastor David Wilkerson he felt the need to go there and help these five or six teenagers that were on trial for murder and when he went down there his first plan was to go there and try to help get these kids off but when he went there that's not what the Lord had called him to do he ended up seeing how bad the heroin epidemic in the 1950s was in New York City and thus he birthed Teen Challenge and for the last 50 60 years we've grown into this um, just amazing program that saved men and women's lives like countless men and women's lives Amen. including children as well before they get to where like you'll hear most of these women have gotten so I'm gonna hand it over to them so they're gonna go ahead and do this and then we'll transition into our next drama after that amen Reality. What is reality? Reality is, is growing up in broken foster homes and thinking molestation was a normal family life. Reality is, is your daughter getting diagnosed with juvenile idiopathic arthritis and you not being there because of your addiction. Reality is, is finally getting sober in a sober relationship just to miscarry at four months. How do I know that's reality? Because that was me. Reality is losing your perfect little family because appeal was more important. Reality is being let down by your earthly father time and time again due to the bondage of addiction. Reality is growing up in a home full of domestic violence but being too young to stop it but old enough to be impacted by it. And how do I know that's reality? Because that was me. Reality is being abandoned by your mother at the age of seven. Reality is believing that Reality is that being completely captivated by drugs and alcohol before even beginning adulthood. Reality is believing that the only love you deserve is abuse. How do I know that's reality? Because that was me. Although we all have different realities, we are all changed by the same truth. 2 Corinthians 5.17 states that for any man that is in Christ Jesus it is a new creation. For the old has passed away and the new has come. You see, truth is, I'm no longer defined by my past. I'm only defined by what God says about me. Amen. Truth is, no family is perfect, but the only way to experience perfect love is through the Father. And truth is, my Heavenly Father has wonderful plans for me, plans that give me hope and hey. a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. Yeah. 
truth is I found family in God and my sisters. Truth is I am sober today by the grace of God. And truth is I know my baby is in heaven and my daughter is my biggest fan. Amen. Praise the Lord. Truth is, God is a God of restoration. Truth is, God is breaking the chains of addiction every single day. Amen. And truth is, I stand firm on our Father's promises, and He promises to give me back everything the enemy stole from me. And God said, you'll know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Good job. Amen. 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 As the rest of the girls come for the next drama and song. That was powerful. Thank you, ladies, for sharing. Sharing yourself as well. Okay. getting their signs ready. Ready? Okay, kick the song on. <coughs>
I am redeemed.